over 700 videos now of the interviews, and we've aligned them in one group called America's Professional Research Group, and you can find out more at aprgi.com, aprgi.com, and you can also subscribe to our new magazine, our new volumes out right now, Carlos. I'm sure you saw it. I did see it. It was it very nice. good, huh? It's called The Vault Magazine. No, no coincidence to our Vault Media Studio here because everybody wants in the vault because there's valuable stuff in the vault. So again, go to aprgi.com, click on uh, subscribe. Now the vault, it will rise in your email. Nobody's selling you anything. So speaking of value, I think you teed that up perfectly. Carlos brings to us today something that uh, I think was completely obsolete in the way that it was built and what was available after uh, the large Northridge quake. I think that after the large Northridge quake, uh, private insurance went away and everybody had to go with California Earthquake Authority. And what I'm hearing from you today is really exciting that we've got some new and exciting uh, options when it comes to earthquake insurance. That is absolutely correct. Um, after the big earthquake, most of the carriers, uh, after the moratorium, they decided to pull out. Um, back then, I was selling earthquake with 5% deductible. A lot of people were happy, but not the companies. Um, <laughs> I bet. And now a lot of people think that the only thing available is the California Earthquake Authority. And uh, for most cases, that could be true, but there are other options that people are just not aware of because the agent doesn't explain it to them. Uh, some agents are not even aware that there's other products out there. Um, and it's important as a consumer to make sure that you're getting the best for your, your the dollars that you're spending. Well, there wasn't, uh, and thank you for joining us again and sharing this with us, Carlos. Again, Carlos Villalobos, Carlos Villalobos Insurance. Um, I know as a, as a homeowner, um, when you looked at the initial options for a long time, it almost seemed, I won't say cost prohibitive, it was the deductible prohibitive. When you saw how much money you're going to have to come up with at the t after the event, per se, it almost made you go, I don't know how I'm going to come up with it or what I'm going to do. And even if you relied on FEMA, that you brought up a, a very important thing, whether it's, oh, are you going to pay have insurance or are you going to have a second loan on your home? That's a key thing, too. Well, usually you're going to have a second loan unless you have insurance. Um, if you do have a deductible, you could get a loan on that small portion of the deductible, which is going to make it easier for you to get back on your feet. Uh, traditionally, the earthquake deductibles are 15 percent. Yeah. Um, then now the 10% is being made available by the CEA. Um, with this new carrier, you can get all the way down to 2.5%. Of course, you're going to pay for it. But as a consumer, then you have the choice to make. Is it worth the extra premium out of pocket to lower your deductible? Now, that's no different than every other insurance policy I've ever owned. The bigger the deductible, the cheaper the policy. But I've always had the choice. That is correct. Uh, and you didn't have the choice until now. So call me at 255-8282. <laughs> yeah, it's really exciting. Uh, you know, oh, I'm a, well, you, the, there's also, you can break up the policy different. Before, you, it was cookie cutter. You, you pay this, you get this, and your deductible is this. I mean, you can break it up to contents. You can break it up to what's being covered and so forth. Am I right? That is correct. Um, let's bring up the um, California Earthquake Authority again. In their policy, there is no separate structures. They're excluded. So with this new carrier, you can choose any amount of separate structures um, that will satisfy what you need. It can be as little as 10000 It can be as much as 100000 uh, So if you're comparing it to your current policy, the CEA, that right there in itself is huge. Uh, the CEA um, also has a limit on contents, whereas this policy, you can choose anywhere from 10000 to 300000 in personal property if that's what you need. You can also modify your loss of use. Um, you can also get what they call a partial dwelling limit uh, where the carrier will participate with you in case of a loss. So you can say for a reduced premium, hey, um, I want you to pay 75% of the loss. I'll take the 25%. Or it could be the other way around. Wow. So you, you know, have multiple options just based it, on your budget is, and what's important to you. It's unbelievable. This is the newest thing on the market. Uh, we're proud to be able to offer it to the people here in Santa Clarita and um, it might be one of the very few agents that has this product. Yeah, it's a custom-tailored earthquake insurance. So if you didn't catch the rest of that, you could check it out at donandgino.com. And we're going to put this on our Facebook page because I think it's yeah, important. Again, absolutely. You know, we always talk about guiding you to personal financial wellness. This, and just to share a little personal story, 
I've had my buildings, all my apartment buildings, not covered because I always said, gosh, I'll just take a FEMA loan because at the end of the day, the deductible is going to break me anyway. It didn't matter. But look at this. I mean, I could pick up a little policy, say $100,000 for each building, just so I had a little something for small damage. If I don't have any catastrophic damage, I may have some small damage that I want to cover. Th that is correct. But let's let's back up a little bit. This, this policy is only for personal lines uh, insurance. So ah. if you have four dwellings connected, that will work. Yeah, but if these it's are one over, to fours. Then you're you're perfectly fine. But Woo. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't want people to think, oh, I have an 18 unit apartment building. Now nah, that changes the whole thing. That's so, a whole other ball game. That yeah. is another ball game. So okay. didn't want to put out wrong information out there. No, no, I appreciate that. But I'm just saying it gave me an opportunity to reconsider earthquake insurance. So exactly, if, yeah. If That's you thought huge. it was obsolete, if you thought it was something that wasn't good for you, at least give Carlos a call and check it out. Yeah, the the, um, the proposal, the quote that we're going to give you is absolutely free, and then you can make a good uh, decision based on your needs well I know I'm gonna sit down with you for sure because like I said I I've been kind of waffling whether I was gonna get any earthquake insurance or not but having the the ra the different ranges now and I never thought about like Gino said you a lot of you go I'll just get a FEMA loan last time there's a big earthquake FEMA offered loans that you can get a very low interest rate but remember that's gonna be for the entire damage you're not even thinking about loss of use where are you gonna live during this time when your house is being you know rebuilt so you're going to have this huge second mortgage, whereas now if you do pay a little bit per month to protect your home, you can get a small, small FEMA right. loan to take care of the deductible, basically. Am I right? I agree. I, I think that's the best way to go. Um, that's what I'm going to look at doing. <laughs> when people ask me about earthquake, the first thing that comes up, one of my first questions to them is, what's your equity? Right. What do you have to lose? You right. know, and that determines a lot which way they're going to go. But you then know, again, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, I get I it. I know that the, I was going to say, I know that that's the conversation that takes place all the time. But even if you don't have any equity, how are you going to go buy another do home? Do you anyway? still want a foreclosure right. on your record? I mean, if you just walk away from your mortgage because the house got torn down uh, in an earthquake, that's still a foreclosure. That is correct. So uh, you do have options. That's why you should call us at again at two five five eight two eight two and. We'll give you the options that you have. Nice. And it's carlosvillalobosinsurance.com, correct? Correct. Our website. Um, All right. Spell your last name just in case, you know. Uh, I mean, it is Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Uh, last name is uh, Villalobos. V like Victor, I-L-L-A-L-O-B-O-S. And that translates to Village of Wolves, just in case anybody <laughs> was new. <laughs> That's good. People will remember that. Very what was that nice. guy's name? Yeah. Village of Wolves. All right. Well, Carlos, thank you for always being such a great guest, always bringing great information. We learn something every day, and I know we're going to reach out to you regarding our own earthquake insurance. And if, you, if you're really smart, you'll reach out to Carlos Villalobos Insurance. I'm sure you'll find him or go to APRGI.com. All his information is there as well. Thank you for being part of our show, Carlos. Thank you very much, and happy Cinco de Mayo to everybody out there. There you go. All right, and we're excited to have you every Saturday, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. on the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show. You can find out more at donandgino.com. Remember to check out the in National Real Estate Cafe at nre nrecafe.com. Easy for me to say. And thank you for joining us. We'll be with you next week.